Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with the finale episode of Star Fox Zero Choose Your Own Adventure. We have made it through all sorts of paths, and now we're finally here. The final battle on the mechanized planet Venom. The showdown of Fox versus Andros. Let's do it. Thanks, do you copy? General, mind explaining what's going on? I suppose I'd better. We originally developed this teleportation device with Andros to bring peace to the galaxy. But he grew mad with power and claimed the technology for his own twisted purposes. When we discovered the truth, we decided to teleport Andros to another dimension. And it worked. We could never have done it without your father, Fox. But now Andros is back, and he's brought some new toys with him. He's even gained control of our teleporters. If this continues, the entire Lilat system will be in his clutches. We must do whatever it takes to stop Andros and destroy this technology. We need you, Fox. Will you help us? Count on it. Andros won't get away with this. Whew. Good luck indeed. A teleportation. Okay, well, here we go. Let's see how this uh let's see how this works out. Okay. Phase one, get to Andros. Now, with Venom, it's a circular planet that you pretty much have full reign over. And you can go through and you can get a couple uh, extra hits here and there by destroying the different cannons. In the very cen center on the bottom is a laser upgrade, so I'm going to aim for that. Right about now. Here we go. We're going to need this very badly. Alright, so now you guys can see. Okay, we can see where exactly we are on the planet by holding down the ZL button. And you can see where these uh, pieces are at, these little cannons that are going to net us a couple extra hits. And it's going to be helpful to destroy these later on because we're going to have a couple threats that are going to that are gonna come on by and do some damage. What kind of threats, you may ask? I don't know. I won't spoil it. Alright, here we go. I think we're good. Okay, ooh, wow, look at this one. Ooh, a gold ring. Ah, oh, we'll leave that there in case we need it for later. Totally did a barrel roll right there. An effective barrel roll. Alright, let's go. Let's just follow this wherever we need it to go, and we'll go from there. So it's a free 10 hits just by knocking out those guys. Okay, so we're on the bottom of Planet Venom. So now if we just keep on going this way, we'll make it to the top. Alright, making it to the top. Alright, so wow, here's the top. All right, now that we're here, let's go ahead and land. All right, so now, ooh, nice, hyper laser, thank you. Totally use that. Wait, what? Uh, okay, maybe not this one yet. Okay, maybe not that one. Ooh, what happens if we go over here? Okay. Oh gosh, they're on the hunters now. How nice of you to join me. Okay, here we go. Now this is going to be a little bit easier because we do have some hyper lasers and I don't want to lose them at all. Oh man, I got hit once. Dang it. Stupid Leon, man. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> of course I don't. Not for you guys. 
Whoa, those hunters, man. They will actually lunge at you if you're close enough to them. Look at these guys. Alright, here we go. Oh, man! Pigma, dude! I knew you'd be the one! Alright, Leon's down. Now, you've noticed that I haven't used a single bomb. Because I'm gonna need the bomb for Andros. Come on, give me this guy. Got him. Come on, Andrew. Andrew's not gonna give me anything? Look at these guys. I'll fight you on your hunters. Come here. Look at how fast they are! Ooh, went right through me! Okay, so now you're taking to the air like I'm talking about. Here we go. Oh, great. Now you're underneath? Okay. Here we go. One more hit. What's he doing under there? Getting rocked, that's for sure. There we go. Always. What did he give me? Anything? Nothing? Oh, I'll take one of these, I guess. A super ring. Whew! Wow. I'm coming for you, Andros. We're all counting on you. Okay, Corridor of Illusion. Now this is very, oh my gosh, this is very reminiscent of, wow, of Star Fox 64. There is a specific path that you have to go through. Forgive me for not remembering it. Uh, I'm gonna say right and then right again. Whoa. What the heck? Why did it pull me that way? Was that the correct way of going? I don't know. Whoa. Okay. Oh, nice. Hyper lasers. Watch me lose it by the time I'm done with this. Okay. I got the wrong path. So, I guess right... I wasn't even... Dad? Father? <laughs> Alright, trust my instincts. Uh, okay, my instincts told me left at the beginning. And these blocks are pretty easy to dodge. I don't want to waste... I uh, didn't I get that last time? Uh, and then I got pulled over to the left. Or to the right, sorry. And I got this thing, and I forgot which way I went. Um... Okay, another, another laser. Alright, which way did I go after the laser? Did I go left or right? Okay. Alright, well are these closing in on me? I'm feeling like they are. Ooh! Wow! Use the brakes! Oh my gosh! Wow, so I didn't get the very first one. That's interesting because I went through the illusion wrong. 
And I could have had all three of these for the medal had I gotten it the first time. Left or right? I don't even know. We're gonna go right. Don't be the end. Oh, good, good. Hey, look at that! Thanks. I'll just follow your lead. Okay, okay. Um, I can't take two hits. I need this hyper laser. Oh, I got hyper lasers. Very well. Follow me, Fox. Dad. Okay, we can do this. Okay. What? Okay, so with this, we gotta find a way in, but before we do that, we actually need to dodge some lasers by going up and down, looking at the big screen, and then we gotta find our way in. Come on. Here we go, now we're in. We have to aim for his hands. Oh! And there's a very narrow window in which you can do it, which you, which you can do an attack on his hands. All right, and what I like to do is I just like to abort and try again. Oh my gosh, that was close. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep these hyper lace. Oh man. There we go, I had to launch a bomb at that. Okay, we're going across. All right, here we go. That was good. Want the bomb in his hand a little bit more. There we go, broke his hand. Now, whenever we break a piece of his, we have to get out of here. Because he's gonna start doing his laser beam attacks and he's gonna force you out if you're not careful. All right, so we're gonna go up and down. Just making sure we're okay. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, good. There's actually an entrance right over here, which looks good. We're gonna land right into it. Ooh, he's got a laser upgrade, like, right near his face. I see that. So in case I do lose it, I can get it back. Come on. Oh, that's a big punch. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? No! There goes my laser. Okay. Dang it, I hate that move. I can't launch a bomb when I'm, oh my gosh. I'm getting tossed like yesterday's trash. I may need to go and get some help. Oh gosh, what are you doing? I need to get out of here. There we go. Okay, so we're getting out of here right now. Okay, uh, I missed that. Okay, got a ring too. Awesome. Okay. All right, all right. We're going up. Ooh, yikes. Maybe I should have looped. Okay, I need as much health as I can get right now.
Okay, got it. I'll allow him to do like two laser beam sets. Because I can't afford... Oh, actually, you know what? Here, you know what? We'll do it. Whatever, let's go. Alright, so he's gonna do his laser spin attack now. And we gotta stay down for a little bit of it. And stay up. There we go. Oh my, whenever he charges back like that, he's going to bite you. Oh, now he's going freaking Megatron over here. I can't do anything about this. I just have to dodge it. So he goes two low, one high, one low, and then we're done. Whoa, okay. I actually knew that was coming. Open up, dude! Alright, so right behind him is a weak spot that I've got to capitalize on. Alright, now we're getting out of here. Okay, we're out. Leave me be. Oh my. Alright, let's uh let's pay attention to this. Go down. There is a ring over there, so I could essentially get that. Or oh, there's a gold ring over here. We're gonna get that. And at the same time this spot's glowing, so that means that it is a spot that we can enter. I do! Come on, Andros. I really want to get that laser. It's so tempting. It's just right up above him. I can easily fly... Oh, gosh. I can easily fly over there and get it. Ooh, wow. How did I not pay attention to that? There we go. Come on, get across, get across. I don't even know where his health is at. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, hit 5 is actually pretty bad. So if I went through and got a hit 10, that would have been better. Okay, things are not done yet. Oh my gosh. Nope. We're gonna go over here. No. <laughs> Die already, man. Boost the heck out of here. Wow. Boom! Explode the heck out of there. Oh, mission complete on Venom. Wow. Trust me, that looked a lot harder than it. That was a lot harder than it looked.
The ghost of James McCloud coming to help him out. One twenty-two. What was I supposed to get? One seventy. Okay. Somehow, beating Star Wolf really, really quick, and then beating Andros really quick. I think I could have done that. Wow! Imagine that. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Miyamoto, supervising director. We made it. This is it. This is the end credits. This is now the time that we get to go through and talk to you guys about what our thoughts on the game were. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, Miyamoto definitely helped out with this. I am really happy with the way this game turned out. I feel that... Uh, a while ago, it was slated to be released at an earlier date. There goes Cat, by the way. That was kind of cool. It was slated to be released at an earlier date, but they pushed it back, which is perfectly fine because now you're able to have a great game rather than a mediocre game forever. So I'm very happy with the way this game turned out. I would say that all the paths were pretty cool. Literally, as I'm looking at this, there's like about 33 different episodes in this playlist alone of all the different paths that you can take, uh, whether it be mission accomplished, mission complete, alternate routes, all that stuff. I got like about 33 episodes on this playlist, and I'm pretty sure there could be something hidden within there. But overall, I mean, the game was great, the animation was great, the graphics were awesome, the way that they used the Nintendo Wii U gamepad was perfect. It was perfect. A lot of people were giving first impressions of the game, and they were saying that the, the game is really hard to control, but I thought it was pretty easy. I don't know what they were talking about. So, I mean, overall, the game was pretty cool. It looks great, it feels exactly like Star Fox 64, and just overall, really fun. Really fun. Who's that in there? And this exactly looks like N64 Star Fox, just pulling into Corneria. And then we're probably going to be met by General Pepper, and he's going to offer us a job, and we're going to say, Oh no, sir, we prefer handling things our own way. The Great Fox is ready to go. <laughs> oh, it could be happening. Star Fox. We are forever in your debt. There's a place for you in the Cornarian army, if you want it. Sorry, General. We like doing things our own way. The Great Fox is ready. <laughs> exactly. Ready to go. Whoa! Start Direct us. eye. Move out. Okay, and now we're in our walkers, running, and let me guess. Ooh, just like at the end, wow. Just like at the end of N64, possibly? I remember the N64 one, they're just running, and then Slippy slowly falls behind, but this is pretty cool. Is that Slippy in the back? I don't know. If it is, then that's pretty much true to N64, <laughs> look. I think that is true. That's awesome. Oh, man. Look at him try to catch up. Wow. Overall, man, this, for a fan of the N64 Star Fox, trust me, oh, this is exactly what I'm, this is like the fan service. I love this. The music, everything, for a kid that grew up in the 90s with the Rumble Pack and N64, N64 Star Fox was my life, man. I actually did a Choose Your Own Adventure Star Fox 64 on my channel. You can actually find it in the description. Uh, so go watch that. Give it a shot so you guys can see the similarities of N64 Star Fox and the uh, Star Fox Zero. Wow. Okay, and I love that. I love the, the transformation from the walker to the R-Wing and just fly on out of here. Super cool. And I remember in the 64 one, it said, like, the end. If you got, like, the hard Venom route, or if you did the easy Venom route, it would say, like, the end, question mark? I don't know what it's going to say now, to be honest. 
The game is really good, guys. If you guys didn't already get this thing, you need to. You need to experience the feeling of being in the cockpit. That looks so cool. Cinematic art. Tomohiro. Yeah, this guy knows exactly what's happening. All the cinema scenes, everything was great. This game is dedicated to our wingman who fell in battle. Rest in peace. Absolutely, rest in peace, Iwata. Okay. Koji Kondo, awesome. We like him, he's a good guy. All right, uh, so things that I wish would have changed in this game. Well, I didn't feel, I felt like the entire Star Fox team was pretty much, they could take care of themselves. There wasn't any time where I was really worried about their health or anything like that, like in the 64 version. So I thought that that was pretty cool. I would have kind of liked to see um, maybe more of them kind of being helpless. I was used to that in the 64 version, like, hey, Fox, get this guy off me. Of course he had a small handful of that, but I really like that, that each of them have their own health meter. I didn't really feel that inside this version. I also enjoyed in Star Fox 64 that Cat and Bill were extra characters. They're NPCs that, depending on which route you took, they actually accompanied you to different areas. And Cat somewhat does that, but, I mean, she really doesn't do that much. Um, and Bill, for example, can actually come over to Sector Z with you in the previous game and shoot down some missiles. And same thing with Cat. Um, I really wish there was a little bit more character development with those two guys. But, I mean, that's just nitpicking. I mean, this game has been super awesome. I love everything about it. Uh, there's actually a training mode that I've yet to show you guys. And at the same time, there's an accompanying game called Star Fox Guard, which uses the same assets, uh, but it's a tower defense game. And I really hope you guys take a look in the description and start looking at that, uh, because I have the full playthrough on my channel for that as well. But overall, graphics, gameplay, the different paths were cool. I love the fact that Star Wolf was back. Um, I really like the fact that they have like this brand new, like our R wing turns into the walker, but theirs turns into like the hunter, which is like, uh, I guess it's a wolf. That's pretty cool. And it goes super fast and it can lunge. I thought that was pretty cool. And they developed the Star Wolf team even further by giving them special moves like the Pigma Bomb, they gave Andrew the like Plasma Shield, and then uh, Star Fox, or sorry, Star Wolf, had that like lightning attack that took like a good quarter of your health every time you hit you with it. I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was really cool too. Uh, what else did I like? I think the gyrocopter was pretty cool. I thought that that was kind of fun, just going through and like using the bird's eye view to kind of move around with it. I liked using lowering direct eye a little bit, picking up those bombs, uh, and picking up the bombs and then launching them, or using direct eye to hack into certain computers. I thought that was kind of cute. And direct eye was like a mini, a mini Rob, per se, like a like a mini baby Rob with a high pitched voice. I thought he was pretty cool. So here's to um, here's to playing more Star Fox Zero. Of course, um, the amiibo functionality in the game has been pretty cool. Of course, um, you know, Star Fox, Falco, all both these guys do some pretty cool stuff unlocking in there, like the Dark R-Wing, or the Black R-Wing, and of course the Retro R-Wings, which are pretty cool. I love that. Just a different way of playing the game. What? <laughs> so here we go. How much money do you owe me? One million. <laughs> 711,360. Andros army units destroyed 2674. We're going to go ahead and tap that in. That looks great. Thanks for the invoice. Payment due for services rendered. Just like in Star Fox 64. You got to pay me. So now that we're a millionaire. That's Star Fox Zero for you guys. Now by beating the game. I'll actually show you a little bit. By beating the game, you actually have access to the arcade mode, which is super awesome. Arcade mode is very fun because you can go through just like the N64 version. You can beat your score, go through the main missions one after another. So that's pretty fun. You can start from the beginning, you can try for your fastest time or your fastest score, and you can see all the different paths that you can go through and beat this with. 
I've beaten arcade mode once, but having this on the screen has definitely helped me out with my choose your own adventure, knowing which paths to go, so that's pretty sweet. Here's to one day having a score on every single one of them. Will that unlock something? I don't know, you guys are gonna have to tell me. So arcade mode's pretty good. Sound test you get unlocked after you beat arcade mode, which is pretty cool. Um, and with that, you not only get um, the all, all the music within the game, but you get some pretty cool uh, looking, here I'll switch this up. You get some pretty cool looking um, characters. I think if you press something, you tap on the screen. Okay, hold on, I can change Star Fox. Hold on, you can change Star Fox, I've done it before. <laughs> you get the 3D character models. Let's see what we do. 3D character models of Star Fox. Here we go. Main menu. You can shoot. Plus. Minus. A. B goes back. Shooting some bombs. Okay, <laughs> there has to be a way of doing it. I've done it before. I'll figure it out later, no worries. Okay, so you get some pretty cool um, things with that. Of course, and in training mode, what you can do is you can go through and collect all of the medals and unlock some different missions. Now, you guys haven't seen what a Roadmaster is. This is actually a vehicle that you unlock by getting medals. So, uh, what you can do is you can play as a Roadmaster, which is really fun. It's literally direct eye in like a dune buggy, and there's really awesome physics involved with it, so that's cool. You can go through and do these training modes, and of course unlock them uh, as you get more medals within the game, so that's pretty cool. Training mode is always good, and of course you have the prologue, we've seen that before, and you have the main game. So, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, Star Fox Zero for the Nintendo Wii U. Right? It is awesome, I'm telling you guys. This game, you have to get it. You have to get Star Fox Zero. So I'm gonna say a big shout out to Nintendo of America for providing me with a copy of the game along with a copy of Star Fox Guard. Without them, we wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have this much time to prep up for the awesome thing that is a 32 plus part Let's Play of Star Fox Zero Choose Your Own Adventure. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all the work that I put into all of these paths and annotating and linking and thumbnailing and all that stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys did, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the entire series and if you guys are going to get Star Fox Zero yourself. Uh, I'm super pumped up for it. I want to keep on playing. I want to get all the medals and I want to do some sort of tips and tricks series where we show you how to get every single medal within each of the levels. I think that would be pretty sweet. So, uh, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching. All of you guys that have watched every single part, definitely thank you. Of course, smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe for even more Star Fox Zero. Thanks for watching, guys.